Okay. Now I am helping you with a GST entry. What is GST? It's goods and service tax. And there are two types of GST. That is CGST and SGST. So C stands for central and S stands for state. So one part of GST the central government is getting and the other part the state government. So um, when you purchase any goods, so at the time of purchase, the keyword will come is input GST and again two input CGST and input SGST. But when are you, when you are selling, the keyword is output GST and again two output CGST, output SGST. So I will directly start with the question and simultaneously explain it to you. So the first question is make entries of the following. Purchase goods for 2 lakh on credit. Okay, they have not purchased goods for cash. It is on credit. Now, the next part is sold goods for 3 lakh on credit. CGST at the rate 6% and SGST at the rate 6%. So, let's think that there was no GST in the question. Then what entry would you have done if you have purchased the goods? The entry would have been Purchase account debit to creditors. Had it been cash for purchase for cash, your entry would have been purchase account debit to cash. Okay, so purchase account debit to creditors. But now since it is purchased, input CGST and input SGST has also to be debited. Remember that purchase, purchase is an expense and input, purchase you debit, input CGST and SGST will always be debit. Same way, sales is a source of income. Sales is always credited in journal entry and the output CGST and output SGST will always be credited. This is a very important point to remember. Don't make mistake in exam. So, the entry for purchase, purchase goods for 2 lakh, okay. So, first purchase account debit 2 lakh, then just write input CGST account debit, input SGST account debit and 2 creditors. Now, calculate that on 2 lakh, 2% 2 CGST, 2 lakh, 6% uh, uh, CGST. So, on 2 lakh, 6% comes up to 2 lakh into 6 divided by 100, you get 12,000. So, input CGST account debit, 12,000. And same way, 2 lakh into 6% is 12,000. So, input SGST account debit is 12,000. So, 2 lakh plus 12,000 plus 12,000, that is 2 lakh 24,000. This is what you will be taking from creditors. So you will do two creditors account 224000 that is why are you collecting this input cgst because you are see when when you are paying for purchase you are not just paying for purchase uh, you are also paying for cgst amount so 2 lakh is your purchase amount 12000 is your uh, input cgst and 12,000 is your output, uh, uh, input SGST. So, 2 lakh plus 12,000 plus 12,000, 2 lakh 24,000. So, always the entry will be purchase account debit, input CGST account debit, input SGST account debit, two creditors if it is a credit purchase. Now, we will go on the sales entry. Okay. Sold goods for 3 lakh on credit, CGST at the rate 6% and SGST at the rate 6%. So, when you are selling, the entry should be debtor's account debit to sales. So, just write debtor's account debit and leave the amount. To sales, you know that sales is given in question for 3 lakhs. So, just write to sales 3 lakh. Now, on 3 lakh... What is 6%? 3 lakh into 6 by 100. That is 18,000. 
So output CGST first write that 18,000 and output SGST write that 18,000. So 3 lakh is your sales amount. Output CGST is 18,000 and output SGST is 18,000. 3 lakh plus 18,000 plus 18,000 is 3 lakh 36,000. So at the end, put amount in debtors, debtors account debit, 3 lakh 36,000. Now continue, continuing with the last entry, that is at the end of the month, you have to calculate what amounts needs to be paid to the government. Because GST, you if, if you are selling, you are just collecting from the party. That is not your property. You have to pay it to the government. So what happens is, whatever output CGST and input CGST difference, that has to be paid to the government. So in the second entry, See, your output CGST and SGST was 18,000 and 18,000 which was credited. Now debit it in the third entry. Output CGST account debit 18,000. Output SGST account debit 18,000. Okay. And in the first entry, you had debited input CGST and input SGST. Now since we are closing this account, so credit it. So, to input CGST, to input SGST, 12,000 and 12,000. So, take it and write it here in these two columns. So, now if I total, in debit side, I have 18,000 plus 18,000, which is 36,000. In credit side, I have 12,000 plus 12,000, which is 24,000. So, 36,000 minus 24,000 which is 12,000, 12,000 I need to pay to the government. So you will write to bank, that is you are paying 36,000 minus 24,000, that is 12,000. Adjustment of GST and payment of balance amount will be your narration. Always remember in the last entry when you are closing Output CGST and SGST will be debit. Input CGST and SGST will be credit. And the difference will be paid by you to the government. So to bank and it cannot be cash because now the payment is compulsorily online. And online can be done only through a bank account. So don't write cash here. Write to bank. The difference has to be put in the bank account.